Welcome back to The Ruffled Daisy. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put an Easter family kit together. This is in our shop, so make sure you hop over and check it out. I did this with a little bit of a farmhouse vibe, which is a little bit different than what I normally do, but I wanted to show you how you could bring this together. I will be doing another one that's some bright colors and things like that too. So since these are Easter bunnies, I wanted them white. We are actually putting a white coat of everything um, very lightly on all of the pieces to start. Once you have a good layer on all of your pieces, I am actually going to use these paint pens, which have become my absolute favorite. They are Thule, T-O-O-L-I art pens. These are fine point ones, and so it really, really makes tracing these outlines of the um, etched pieces in the wood stand out a lot more. You can paint them if you want, you can use the art pens, do whatever your heart desires, because these are made to actually be creative the way you want them in numerous ways. So I'm putting a little bit of color on all the glasses and the um, little flower and the hair bow and then a top hat. And then we are actually going to just add a little bit more embellishments um, using our Thule pen. This makes painting so easy. Paint pens are really, really crucial to have when it comes to painting really small detail on some of these smaller pieces. You can see here that for the girls, I did little pink noses and for the boys, I did a little gray noses. And I actually did the same thing when it comes to the little um, butts that are on the bunny and they look like little flames here, but those are the bunny butts. So to give this a distressed rustic look, I do have my little gator sander and I am just sanding everything down to just give it a little bit more of a distressed look. Here's the little pink bunny butts that we're gonna put on our girl. Once you have it all painted how you want, now it's time to put it together and do the displaying. I love this and the white on that hat really made it stand out. I did use some orange on the flower. It didn't stand out a whole lot, so I didn't go any further. But you guys, this is a really, really cute project that you can do with yourself or with your children or grandchildren. Let them have fun with their creativity. You can see that their little feet get glued on the front and then the little bunny butts go on the back and then you just get to add embellishments. You can add a ribbon, you can take this over the top amazing and I cannot wait to see how you guys bring yours to life. Check it out, what do you think? This looks absolutely perfect on the tiered tray that's also in our shop and just adds a little bit of Easter fun to the corner. And that rainbow macrame, that is a part of our subscription box this month. Make sure you hop over and join that as well so you get a cute crafty kit every month to create with me.